Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you the top 5 hardest swords to get in Blocks Fruits. This video will not contain true triple yoro as it can only be given to you by an admin and almost only admins have it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. Now before we get into the top 5, let's start off with an honourable mention. And that honorable mention is the Dark Dagger. This puny little piece of sword right here is not such a great sword for how hard it is to get. This just barely didn't make it onto the list of top five, but it is still pretty hard to get. So basically how to get it is you need to get some God's Chalice, you do that by killing elite enemies and having a chance to get the God's Chalice and then using all the buttons behind there, behind this building and on top of the building with your legendary Haki colors and then using the Chalice over here to spawn Rip Indra Raid Boss and then after killing them having a 2.5% chance to get this little sword right here. Yes, the double drop chance works on it, so you can get 5% chance instead of 2.5, but still it's not guaranteed and it's quite annoying to get for how bad of a sword this is. Like, look at this. It goes a little itty bitty distance and that is like the tiniest little uh, area that it can hit. Now, yes, it is decent for combos as you can just, well, do this and like any other move you want but you need to be skilled to use it and I do not think it's worth getting unless you're just wanting to collect all the swords. Number five we have none other than the shark anchor right here. So to get the shark anchor you need to head over to Tiki Island. Once you are here you are going to want to find the shark hunter, craft the tooth necklace with this stuff right here then after you craft the tooth necklace you have to craft the terror draw with this stuff over here and then after that you need to craft the monster magnet with all of this stuff once you get it you have to go out there and just go to danger zone 6 and try and spawn as many terror sharks as you can each one has a chance to be an anchor terror shark with an anchor attached to its tail and that has 195,000 health instead of the usual 150,000. Spawning it uses up your monster magnet, so make sure you do not die. You need to do over 10% damage to that shark and kill it in order to get the shark anchor. It's a very good sword, especially for combos and stuff, since it has high range good combos and good for breaking observation since both moves do that and I think it's a pretty good sword to get. Number four we have the good old pole v2. That's right this sword right here. So to get pole v2 you will need to eat rumble fruit and then in total use 19 and a half thousand fragments to get this thing. So once you have Rumble Fruit, you need to spend enough fragments, which I think is 14 and a half thousand, on awakening each Rumble move by doing Rumble Raids in the second and third C. Once you have all of the Rumble moves awakened, you need to do one more Rumble Raid in order to talk to the Thunder God and buy this sword for 5,000 fragments. Now, at this current point in the game, Pole V2 is garbage. Well, not really that bad, but compared to all the other really good swords you have available, it's not too great. It does stun, it does have really short range, which is pretty bad, and it can be quite slow as well. So I think getting this is probably just going to be a waste of your time unless you need it for a specific build you want or for your collection. At number three coming in is Cursed Jewel Katanas. Here we go, here's the Cursed Jewel Katanas. So in order to get this, you'll need to be in the third C, 
have both Tushita and Yama, which are both kind of difficult to get. One, because you need to kill 30 elite enemies in order to obtain it, and the other, because it's a little puzzle while Rip Injure Raid Boss is alive. And then, you need to be over level 2200 and have 350 or more mastery on each Tushita and Yama in order to just start this little puzzle for Cursed Jewel Katana. You'll need to come over here and there'll be a closed door. On the other side, there will be this guy you talk to to open it. And inside the secret room, there's two boxes right here with two scrolls on them. Each scroll has three tasks for you to do. They can take a while to explain, so if you want to know how exactly to do it, just find a CDK video. I have one on my channel, it, but it is a little bit far back, so you'll need to scroll a little bit. And once you complete each scroll and each of the tasks on the scrolls, they'll burn up and then a secret room will open with the Cursed Jewel Katana boss. Once you kill the boss, you will get the Cursed Jewel Katanas. Now CDK is one of, if not, the best sword in the game for combos, for farming, for basically everything. You don't get moved forward when you click, the moves are really great, and it has really high damage and mobility as well. So I highly recommend you get this sword, or swords, wh whatever you want to call them, there's two of them. Number two on our list is the only triple sword you can get without being an admin, and that is the true triple katana. Now the reason it is number two on our list is because you need three swords before you can even try to get it. The three swords are none other than Shisui, Wando, and Sadi. Or Sadi, I, I don't know how to say these ones. And each of these are two million belly, and they're all from the legendary sword dealer in the second sea, which takes three to five hours to spawn each time, and it's completely random whichever sword he wants to try and sell you. So, you could, in theory, find him three times, and each of those three times you could get Sadi, which is really annoying, wasting all of those hours and just getting one sword, or doubling up on some swords. It's just really annoying. Now, once you've spent the six million and gotten all those three swords, you'll need to get them each to 300 or more mastery. Then you can spend another 2 million belly in order to buy True Triple Katana. Finally, you need about 350 mastery to get both of these moves. Yes, it is very hard and time consuming to get, but fret not as this is a very good sword. It has very high damage and it's pretty good for combos too, especially after the rework. Now, coming up number one on our list is none other than the Yoru or Dark Blade. And that's while having it at V3, which is the white color right here. This thing's really cool. It's got its own animations and everything. Now, the only reason it's here, number one on the list, is because you can only get it by buying it as a game pass right here for 1,200 Robux or for trading for it or getting it gifted to you. And if you don't have the Robux to buy it, then you'll need to get some really good fruits in order to trade for it or be really lucky and win it from a giveaway. I didn't buy mine, I traded for it and I got it at a really cheap price loads of updates ago. I only got it for Venom, Control, Gravity, and Paw. Once you have it, you need to get the moves, which is really easy, it's only 50 mastery. And then you'll need to upgrade it to V2 by going in the first seat, talking to Robot Mega in a secret house in the middle town. 
then going to the frozen snow place and talking to the Indra in the dog house and get a quest by talking a specific way to him. Then go all around the first sea and find three love letters in order to go talk again to Robot Mega and get this thing to V2 with some cooler looking abilities and 30% extra damage. But wait, there's more! If you want the white version, the V3 of it, you'll need to go to the second C and do this silly little puzzle which may take you a long time. Now this silly little puzzle is where you need angel, mink, shark and human races all to version 3. Then you and someone else each need a fist of darkness which you can get from killing sea beasts from a low chance or in a random chest all throughout the sea every four hours. Once you and someone else has a fist of darkness, the other person needs to spawn Darkbeard and then you go to the graveyard with your fist of darkness in your hotbar down here, go find the secret door and click on the button while Darkbeard is alive. That will open the door, you'll get Darkblade V3 and the Slayer of God title. It is so annoying to get, and it isn't even the best sword in the game. That's basically reserved for CDK and maybe some other ones. But you've got to admit, this thing looks really cool, especially after they changed the model. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. See you all next time.